Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 23 of House 24 of the Drifter Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And we are in Create a Sim because while I didn't actually give Katie and Gabe full makeovers, I did give them some new clothing from growing together. So for Katie, I was thinking of changing her current hair, which she has here, to this new hair from the pack, but I kind of think that might be better for her when she, maybe when she's like a little bit older starting a family. So I'm actually gonna leave her hair as it is right now. And cause she, they both have applied to university. I haven't checked, I'm assuming they're in, but anyways, her first new outfit is her formal outfit here. So that dress is from growing together. She already had five every day and Honestly, they seemed appropriate for college, university, so I didn't change any of them. I did give her one new sleepwear. This is actually from the kit, the whatever the underwear kit was, but it looks kind of like something you'd sleep in, so I gave her that. She does have a party wear outfit from Growing Together, the top and the bottom. There are no new shoes with the Growing Together pack, so no new shoes at all full stop. And I gave her this hot weather outfit. The top and the bottom are both from the pack. And I gave her this one cold weather outfit, which uh, is only the top ah. in this case. I didn't actually like the bottoms. Mm -hmm. it, they seem too clunky for her. I think that, that I've used them and I like them. I didn't like them for Katie. <laughs> More to the point. Gabe didn't have as many outfits in the first place, so let's switch over to him. So he got more outfits than she than Katie did. So this oh. is his new everyday outfit, which is the top is from the pack, and I think and the bottom is too. So he has a top and a bottom, but everything else, I mean, the shoes are just, you know, as I said, there are no shoes that come with it, just came with something. And I did give him one formal. It's kind of a casual because I didn't give him those pants. They don't really strike me as very formal, to be honest, but I gave him this top, which even that's not that formal, but I gave it to him. I'll probably give both of them more formal outfits for when they get married, but they're not yet. So I figured why bother? Let's just wait. <laughs> there is his uh, top is from the pack. I don't know. And the shorts are not. They're from Snowy Escape. Yes. So I didn't give him shorts from the pack. But it seems to go very well. And there, that again is from that underwear kit. The, I gave him as a new PJ. And that top is from the Growing Together pack. And nothing else is from the pack. There is a new swimsuit for males. So I gave him that. I don't believe I noticed anything for females. And then for hot weather, the top here is from the pack and I just left him with the shorts that he had and then I did give him I believe a couple of tops from the pack so this is yeah. one pack that I thought is good for sort of inside which is what I tend to have my sims mostly wear especially when we're living in Oasis Springs where it's not as cold and then there is this top here from uh, the growing together pack and i believe that's as far as it was yes that is everything that we did or i gave them in create a sim from you know the new pack and in general there were some other things to go along with it so i'm gonna go back to live mode and then we're gonna see a little bit of a makeover that i did to the house there so we're in live mode and I'm going to show you the little renovation that I did. So first off, I moved the house over so that we had more space on one side. So I had more room for the tree house that I wanted to get. And because I did that, it got rid of the fence at the back of the lot. So I had to replace that. And then of course I bought that tree house and I fenced the area around the tree house. It took me a little bit. I wanted to make sure I placed it without move objects because I seen some people report issues of using it if it's placed with move objects cheap but I had had I had put that on for moving it hoping that that my fence wouldn't move but that did not work out but uh, I did also buy two bikes for the kids I don't normally like bikes but that's needed for the child aspirations the new child aspirations and also to get the child milestone of learning how to ride a bike and I got them a little table for playing games on inside because of course we have the new 
games, the symbols and the puzzles. Plus we can play the other games on it. I actually got the game table that came from Get Together instead of the new one that came with the pack because it doesn't really matter which game table you use. They access all of the games with it. And I got them a thermostat and a little friendship bracelet box and a little splash pad area. The other thing I did is instead of it being a micro home for the tiny house residential, we've moved up a tier so we don't have quite as many benefits. We don't get the relationship boost. And also if you have a negative relationship, it doesn't go down as quickly and the plants don't grow as quickly with that. But, you know, we're sort of moving our way to probably eventually not having a tiny home residential lot. But so that means the downstairs has a 64 square bit or whatever. And then that means that upstairs where I kind of use quote unquote, the attic space, the roof space, I now have 64 grid up there. So instead of having a small bathroom and a small bedroom up there, we now have a slightly bigger bathroom and two slightly bigger bedrooms and a little landing space to get to them, which also has room even for a desk or something up there that we can put up there. So that was kind of it for the renovation for the house. Now, the other thing is it's like Friday evening. They still have their graduation coming up on Sunday and they have applied to university. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've been in this save because I haven't actually been playing in this save since before the infant update and adding growing together. I actually came in a week ago to play and I did the makeover and then we actually had a power outage. So I couldn't record Drifter that night. And so there was no Drifter last week for that reason, because of that. But luckily we did get our power back, but it was off for four or five hours overnight. Kind of, it was kind of late when I was gonna start recording. Um, in addition to, I also had given them that makeover and I was sort of all getting set up and boom, the power went out. No reason, no bad weather, nothing. Don't know why it went out. Anyways, so they have applied and Katie has read her acceptance letter. She was accepted. Now with Katie, I had been thinking of having her do the cooking aspiration. Normally I do the mixology and the cooking aspiration, but I think what I, I don't know what I'm going to do for sure. I'll probably just have her go into the cooking career at level eight and actually get a cooking um, degree or whatever the culinary arts, maybe send her back to school to get the other one. Cause then you only need to get eight more credits. And honestly, the cooking, I looked at the hours when you're, if you got a distinguished degree and degree and do well at it, the level eight and level nine, the hours are such that she could go to university in the day and, and attend and do her working at night. If she gets to level 10, well, she will get to level 10, but if she stayed in level 10, then it's like noon till five or six, Monday to Friday. So that would conflict a big time with it. But, uh, you know, we'll see where we get. So let's have her go in and enroll in university. So that will mean that they would be going to different universities, but I purposely actually want them to go because I like certain things about the after school programs for both of them. Like one advantage of them going to the same one is that, you know, when we have to go out, it's the same location, especially for the uh, uh, activities and whatnot, but you don't have to go all the time. And I like the reward from the research and debate and uh -huh. if you max that, which uh -huh. I find the harder one to max, and, you know, it'd be nice to get that special easel that you can get from the Arts Society. And she is creative, so it does somewhat make sense that she would want to go to University of Brightchester. So she's going to do the Culinary Arts degree and three classes of core classes and her elective We'll take a look and see what the options are. Herbalism might be good because I might possibly um when the degree is over because it's three weeks and they're well I think they're actually just going into summer so that actually doesn't work very well it would only work if I delayed them going to because once I register them for university then they can't go on vacation to Granite Falls so that would kind of put the whole going there to do the collecting out of out of reach unless we forego the scholarships for the second time when they register. Like if I don't register enroll right away after their first week, 
and say go next weekend to Granite Falls to do everything we need to do because it's summer, then the rest of it doesn't really matter. It can be done at any time. Um, you know what? Just on the off chance, we're going to do that plant collecting for herbalism. And we're going to obviously stay at home. So she's got those. She's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which of course she's going to lose them all. <laughs> I think we'd have to re-enroll for, re reapply for all of them. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, we'll see. What, I, what I might end up doing actually might be the easier way to go is just to change the season back to summer to go after they're finished with the university and not worry about going right now. That's probably the better thing to do. Or just change it to four-week seasons so that it'll still be summer at the end of it and then switch it back to two-week seasons. That might be the easier thing to do. So I'm going to hit OK, and she got 1,065. So let's take a look at Gabe. He is going to go to Foxbury and uh, do the, we will check the application status. Obviously, we could do it from the letter I gave her. I don't know what he's, he's going to stop on his own. I wasn't sure if I had told him to do that or if he was doing that autonomously, because that would make a difference as to whether they stop on their own or not. Oh, I think someone must be in a loud phase because that seemed like those radio all of a sudden started getting loud. Okay, so we have our acceptance letter here and we're gonna go hopefully, so that's just, okay, we can't actually apply there, so no. Okay, we're gonna change this to classical because that's the only one that can't be loud. It should be, oh, what was that? <laughs> I don't really know why I started celebrating. Let's do this. University. Uh, enroll in a university. Oh, no. right, it looks like I'm guessing. Oh, no. Yeah, they're all celebrating. What are they celebrating? Okay, so we're going to go to Foxbury for him. And then he's going to do computer science. He's going to do three core classes. And he's going to do herbalism also. We're going to stay at home. We have a number of scholarships there for him. And there we go. So I'm not going to change it to four-week seasons right now because then that'll keep us in spring, which I suppose is okay. I'll think about it either by changing it tomorrow after the holiday ends or I will just do it on uh, Sunday when the summer season, because if we look here, we're on day 13 of 14. So... Okay, so that's that. So I'm going to get them kind of through the weekend and see what, if anything is happening, I'll come back with that. They're probably just going to work on their homework. And if there's like any, um, you know, club activities where I'm going to try and get them to join, I'll be back and show that. Otherwise, we'll be back with their graduation. It isn't Sunday yet, but we came over to Darby's Den to try and join the debate guild, which I am having uh, Jackie is just about to ask to join. Oops, that looks like he's clumsy. I kind of think it's just a default and looks like someone's either scared or paranoid or paranoid, scared because they're paranoid. I'm not really sure. So I find an easy way to, not an easy way, but a good way to try and help boost this you know, the club, the ranking in here is to actually go to the activities and talk to the Sims about it. So we need to debate a topic and win a debate. I'm not sure how likely we are to win. So we're going to try and participate. We might, we probably will have to buy one of these at home. I find that's the easiest thing to do. And then sometimes I hire a butler and have the butler beat the one <laughs> <laughs> who does the debate with my sim because my sims are too busy <laughs> so she's just gonna participate in this they're gonna do their own thing i do need to get the uh everybody home because they have scouts and if they don't go to scouts their responsibility will go down which i'd rather like to avoid but i think this ends at two anyway so i'll try and go home shortly before that and i will also i don't know what we got that money for 
Oh, we got it for, it was a pretty good amount. Sometimes I find that I get nothing. But, so, I'll be back. We're actually still at Darby's Den, and they went to their scouts and then came back. But I am having uh, Kendra learn how to ride a bike, and I have asked uh, Gretchen to help her. So, we shall see how this goes. And Katie won her debate. She's actually at a mixology class. I figured, well, we not that we need to be here to go to mixology class, but I was waiting. So I'm like, let's just have her go. And it looks like she got it finished. Yeah, which is perfect. I'm actually going to pause because I want her and um, Gabe to attend a guest lecture. And they need to do that from here and between five and seven there. And then we will have him do the same and make sure that he's on the right aspiration because that would be kind of a waste if he was on that one, <laughs> which isn't the one that matters. So let's just check this. Oh, it looks like he needs some fun. Oh, I'm sorry, Gabe. We'll, we'll get you some fun soon. <laughs> we'll just watch the little. Oh, he's very playful. Family fun from feeling close with someone nearby. I don't like that playful. Well, I don't mind the playful. I don't like the fact that... Well, it doesn't matter. I have MCCC and I have emotional death disabled, but I don't like that I have to. Because honestly, I don't mind managing the anger and the embarrassment. Embarrassment's easy. You just got the uh, shameless. But uh, and my sims don't have traits that tend to make them that excessively angry that much. But the playful is just too easy... <laughs> Maybe not the best place to be learning to ride a bike. <laughs> and just does this give her more confidence? I believe in me from confidence gain. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's anything that looks like it's. Nah, I don't. That's the only thing that I see there. She did actually have neutral confidence. Now she has high confidence. How about you? How's your confidence? It's high also. And what are you doing going over there and ask, asking? You're going to ask for help with bike riding too. I got, I put the bikes I bought into their inventories, which is why they have. Can she help ride, teach both of them at the same time? I didn't tell him to do that. He did that all on his own. <laughs> this is quite, quite funny. Now, does she still have that loud? Yeah, she is still loud, unfortunately. But, uh... So now they're teaching too. She's like, I think, helping both of them. She's, she, I had her working out to try and get her final scout badges, but I think we need a tub so she can have a bath <laughs> from that pulled muscle. I don't know if I have a tub down here. I can't remember. I have it like expanded and there's like a basement with like extra bathrooms and showers for sure. I just don't know if I ever put a, a tub down there, which would be useful for this type of thing for sure. So, anyways, they're doing their bike riding, and I'll be back. It is now Sunday morning, so not quite time for the graduation. But Kendra is playful, so I'm going to have her stomp playfully on our splash pad that we have here. And we had to turn the water on first, so we've done that. Now we're going to stomp playfully, because this one, the option's not there. It's play in water or turn on. So, but this it was the same for this until I turned it on. So, and they have been working on their homework for university and doing their, you know, she has a term paper, Gabe has a term paper and a presentation. Gabe is still working on it. So now she needs to become friends with the three other children. Now, I don't recall if I got her. I did get her incredibly friendly. So it may be harder for her because of the changes to how relationship are made between or the gain, the ratios for how easy or hard it is. Because it's very easy for children. So if you stack that with incredibly friendly, I find the friendships don't count. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to handle I mean, one way to do it is to do a rude introduction and then become friends. And she does have a bad relationship with at least one child because he came over in a bad mood and they, they, they went from being like, could be BFFs to being, yeah. So at least it's just slightly negative. So actually the fact that we have two sim kids that we know but aren't friends with will definitely help. But I think she also needs to make 
Unfortunately, she has to find six children to become friends with because for the social aspiration, we'll have to be on that and she still has to make friends with three other children for that too. So we'll have to see because I don't like doing rude introductions, but it may be the only way we can go with her. I don't recall if Kevin has Incredibly Friendly yet. Yay, he doesn't, so he won't have that problem. So in general, I'm not going to be giving my Sim kids uh, Incredibly Friendly. I don't even know that I'll do it until they have made their teen friends at the teen stage for the social teen aspiration. Admired Icon, I think was what it is. Yeah, so I don't think I will even bother with that. And then after that, then it's good because I guess the issue is like for in credit for the friend of the world aspiration, it just counts how many friends you have and it can do that without it being on there. But for the ones where you have to make a friend of a certain like class, like a child or an adult or a teen, it can't and you have to be on it. It's just the way the code works of the game. Someone explained it to me. So anyways, I just thought I would show this and uh, I am going to try and take them out to join uh, respective the art society for Katie and the bot savants for Gabe but I'm not going to show that because I think we want to see the graduation in this part and it would be too long if we did all of that so because as it is it's already going to be a bit long so I'll be back so we're here at the graduation I tried to get our uh, Gretchen to take some pictures but you may be able to see there there a lot of them are poor so I'm hoping something turned out of the ones that I had her take. I originally was gonna have Gabe do it. Neither of them have very, they both were level one in photography. So they, neither of them were very good, um, but he was too busy watching the valedictorian speech so that he wasn't actually going to take the picture. So I had Gretchen do it. We could try having her do one more, but of course it'll interrupt <laughs> with the, the speech. Oh, she's gone now, so we can't. Uh, hopefully some of those turned out. I could try taking it of her leaving, but, you know, whatever. It is oh, what it is. We got what we got. I wasn't thinking about the fact that I needed someone to have decent photography skill. I just actually bought the camera. And, yeah, so they're going to go and hopefully get their diplomas. Initially, they nothing was happening, so I was a little bit concerned it wasn't actually going to, like, fully work. But at least she did her valedictorian speech. And there's someone going up who is Finley Weaver, young adult. Okay. Um, and who's going up now? <laughs> Looks like Alan Campbell. Nope. So I, the game just randomly will age up teens to be at the ceremony. So she's chatting with Alan because I think he was a teen. I guessing I added. Can we get there? We can get our ceremonial. <laughs> it was there, and I went off too quickly. Let's try. Oh, wrong Sim. She's not the one who should get her diploma. She's not graduating. Let's try this again. Get ceremonial diploma. That's interesting. That it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyone can get it. Oh, someone else. Oh, that's her. Uh, for a minute there, I didn't recognize her. Okay, so let's just get a screenshot ourselves and not worry about the pictures because it'll be too hard to time. There! Yay! And is he going to go get it on his own or do I need to also have him get ceremonial diploma? Just because I don't want to miss out. The diploma itself should be in their inventory. I don't know if it comes after they go to this or after they aged up. I wasn't paying attention. And I don't remember if I had done it before. There. There. And unfortunately, I don't know which is the best angle. And his eyes are closed there. But he's already got it. So, all right. So they have graduated and they got to go to their ceremony. I could only obviously travel with people who are on the home a lot, but I'm, when we got here, we invited like her parents. Obviously, we didn't. Gretchen came with because she lives with us. So yeah, so that was it. So they have graduated, 
and um, they'll celebrate. Maybe I'll see if I can use the photo booth to get some pictures because with the tripod, the pictures turn out better, but I'm not going to show that. It's just taking pictures. So we're actually going to leave this part here. Likes and comments are always appreciated and they really help with the algorithms. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.